Hi, my name is Madeline Stratton. I am a multidisciplinary artist and educator living and working in Washington, DC. I am originally from Memphis, Tennessee. I did my undergrad at Vanderbilt University in Nashville where I studied studio art and history of art. Um, after getting my master's of art history in New York, um, I eventually landed in DC about five and a half years ago. Um, after moving here, I worked for a brief time at the National Gallery and then actually went back to graduate school to get my MFA in multidisciplinary art from the Mount Royal School of Art at Maryland Institute College of Art, or MICA, um, up in Baltimore. I have been part of the Spark Plug Collective the past two years, which has been a wonderful experience. Um, when I am not in my studio making art, I teach um, upper school art at St. Albans School um, up by, uh, by the National Cathedral. My studio is in Northeast DC in Montana, Motor Inn, and um, I've been there for a little over two years. In my practice, I'm interested in memory, specifically memories of domestic spaces and how we remember those spaces and also the objects that occupy those spaces. I'm interested in how we give importance to certain objects in our memory and how everyday domestic objects can hold um, importance to us in our lives. I'm also interested in how we remember the architectural elements of spaces that we have occupied. So the work that I have um, in our spark plug show, as well as work that I've been making recently, um, I base off of my own memories of interior spaces. They are spaces that I've occupied in some way, but can no longer return to, whether it be the house I grew up in, an apartment that I lived in a few years ago, um, it kind of ranges, but basically my sort of rule and premise is that it's a space I can no longer return to. I work from my memory, so I do not use reference photos. I do not go back to those spaces. Um, and I sketch out the main architectural elements of that space and then translate that into sculptural paintings um, and most recently freestanding sculpture as well. Um, my background is really with painting and printmaking. And so paint is definitely my, my comfort zone. So um, I tend to use a lot of paint. I also use textiles and hand stitching in my work as well. Some of the pieces that are in our spark plug show um, are part of a newer material exploration for me where I have incorporated things such as vinyl, um, more iridescent fabrics, some neon paint, and, kind of, and um, also acrylic plexi and sort of layering those materials in my representation of these spaces. My color palette tends to be based off of objects that occupied those spaces, whether it be the color of a lampshade or a rug or a chair. Um, but again, the work in this show, I decided to push the color palette a little bit more. Given the um, current state of the world, I decided to really embrace using kind of more fun colors um, and being a little bit more out there with my, with my color palette, my materials than I have been in the past. Um, so I hope that they, these pieces have a little bit of a sense of joy in them right now. In terms of my experience with the Spark Plug Collective, it has been so lovely being with this wonderful group of artists. They have inspired me so much, not only with, you know, the thoughtful feedback that they've given me, but also um, watching them grow and watching their work progress over the past two years. Um, I know that I can reach out to any of them for anything, um, and they've really made me feel like I have an artistic home in DC. Um, as of now, for me, in terms of my own work, I'm really looking forward to working more with textiles um, and using those as um, a bigger element in my work, and I'm also interested in doing more sculptural work and really coming off the wall even more and doing some more freestanding sculptures. And I would just like to end by saying thank you so much to DCAC um, for all of the wonderful support the past two years for putting together this show, especially during these unprecedented times. And I'd also love to thank Fa um, for being such a wonderful curator to work with and having the best attitude and giving us such a positive experience. So thank you.